Righto. Bit of an update on the, the bus. I'm now working on this side. Been pulling, pulling windows and replacing them with panels. Um, I've still got to strip down this complete side and give it a new lick of paint like I did the other side. Got to cut a panel out and put in there next week when I get some more goop. Um, there's been a total rearrangement of how inside's going. Um, the window I had there for the toilet is now out and it's got to go there. So it goes there. Still got a hopper window to put up the back there for the bedroom. So once all these are panelled in, then they're all done. And then all I've got to do is, um, same with the other side, is like regoup all the edges inside everywhere and make it all pretty and nice and flush. Finish it off, basically everything's sealed, but uh, yeah, do all that crap. The back window has been done. Just got to tidy up around the edges and paint the border on it. All the windows and panels, panelling's been done down this side. Bar, like I said, doing all the, 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 the edging, make it nice. This whole side's had um, been rubbed down, given one coat of new paint. Got the doorway stripped out, ready to build a complete new door, like I built the front two. Do it the same way. Both the two at the front now have uh, basically been done by their catches. So the battery box one here, they got a lick of paint on them. And that one there, which is more of an emergency exit or, or an access door to put the kitchen and feed stuff into the bus through but basically that that door won't be being used catch it on the inside yeah so turns out i've got to get rid of my bath so the bath be going if someone wants a bath give me 250 dollars and they have this nice little freestanding bath yeah so i did have the toilet and washing machine going there now they're not. Now I'll be having a pantry, cooking station and the fridge. And the rest of the kitchen will be going in along here. Then there'll be a big breakfast bar as it was going to be to start with over here. Toilet's now going there. Directly below that's the bin from outside bin already. So then my compost bins will fit under there. So this will be a an enclosure now in here for the wash machine and the toilet that's going like I said that um, shower base out there 920 by 920 by 300 will be going in the place of that so that gives us space so now we'll have a walkway up the middle in between those lines will be the walkway so we'll still have the shower base and the vanity as we were going to have originally anyway the vanity, the you know, the ensuite was going to be here, but just not that bath because I was yeah, running out of space for kitchen over there. So I've thought again, but uh, the back's all done, been insulated. There's insulation in lots of panels here. This big one here, I've still got to do that one once the hopper goes in. That one's done. This one's done. I'm hoping I've got enough insulation left to do. I'm definitely going to have to do this one, but hopefully these smaller ones I can still fill in. They've been insulated. One at the front there. I'll insulate that one. There. Slowly. Outside here. I've basically got the whole roof cap stripped out of the old goop. I've just got to clean it all up with some crap that was on there, and then I can regoop this whole roof cap cap like I did the other side then I know that's totally sealed and uh, yeah still got to strip down that side and give it a lick of new paint but it's getting there
it is slowly getting there i can't wait to actually start working on the inside but i know i've got to get the outside all done first but yeah slowly all these all this side here the windows and panels will be done this week coming so then all this side will be done then yeah i can make that door as well bye